Hey guys, welcome to CR Entry Design Ash Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to do creative hard surface modeling. We will make a mechanical part in this tutorial. So now let's get started. To make this model you need to add a circle with 30 words and then you need to select these words in this manner 3 words and deselect 2 words. So you need to do this alternately. After selecting this word you need to scale down them along the x and y axis. Then select these words, center words and then scale down them along the x and y axis so you will get this kind of curve shape on your mesh then set its origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3d cursor and now then select everything and then you need to use extrude tool to give its 3d form so just e to extrude it and then you need to create little bit of dapper kind of shape so that's why one more time extrude it and scale it down along the x and y axis so adjust its scale and now that's look pretty well so just insert it just and then use the loop tool to make a circle so you will get this kind of circular shape so we can edit the topology later on easily similar thing we need to do here also just before that i want to take the similar kind of dapper kind of shape at the bottom so I am just going back just extrude one more time and then scale it down little bit and adjust the scale and create the same kind of stepper kind of shape over there and press I for the insert operation Then use the loop tool to make it circle and just adjust the uh, size of the circle and then extrude it and just one more time insert to uh, add one more loop at there and then extrude it and move it along the z axis and just create a little bit of the design over there simple shape okay and that's look pretty well and just adjust its skill and just eye for the insert operation and add loops at there and create a little bit of hole there so that's why you need to use the extrude tool so extrude along the z-axis and then just eye for the insert then select the spaces and then add the loop cuts more loop cuts there because we will use the sub d modeling sub d surface uh, modifier so that's why you need to add the more loop cuts right there so just select these faces and press i for the insert operation so you can create a more loops right there and now that's look pretty well just add more loops and you can see here is a taper kind of shape so that's why the insert operation not work properly in this case you need to add the word or loop cuts manually and then just here one more loop cut so you can use the insert operation and just here i want to create a little bit of design so that's why I just create it with simple uh, tools So just add a loop cut at there and now you can see it's look pretty well now we need to create a chord based topology so that's why they just delete that face and then face and then grid fill this is one option and another option is the bridge each loop so you can select the words and then just see select the equal number of words and then you can use the bridge edge loop option which is the after selecting the words just right click after selecting this edges just right click and then bridge edge loop so you can create the chord based topology with the help of this so then you need to add loop cuts just count before that the how many words are there according to that you need to add the loop cuts and you can see there is a triangle is going on so that's why make sure you select the proper edges to fill the gaps and there is a core based topology and here also we need to do the same thing
and then turn on your sub D modifier, sub doing surface modifier, and you can see after adding the sub doing surface modifier that's look pretty well. And just we need to adjust a little bit of faces, so I want that. Uh, the, I just want to scale these faces along the x and y axis. So just to dissolve, dissolve these edges and then scale them along the x and y axis. And then you can add one more time the insert edge loop with the more loop cuts at there. So now this tapper is looks fine. And you can see now the mesh looks decent and that's amazing. So you can see here is a mesh and just I want to show you how you can edit this and create a little bit of different design. So just shift D to duplicate it and just hide that one and just here I will add more loop cuts. So before that just add a loop cuts like this and now I want this uh, shape of more flat. So just you need to add the loop cuts like this. So just add the loop cuts and it will deform your topology a little bit but we can manage it. And now you can see we got that hard edge there as well as a curved shape but you can see the circle is not proper so that's why you need to select this word and then merge at the center in this way these words are at the flat surface so you can use this method like a merge at center otherwise that will be difficult if the words will be on a curved surface then don't use this weld method then maintain the edge flow that's only one option to manage the edge flow this is these words are on the flat surface so that's why you can use the weld, uh, weld method so just you can merge the words and then select these unnecessary edges which are deforming the circular shape of your mesh and that cylindrical bottom part and then dissolve them so select these edges or click for or shift or click for that and then dissolve them and now you can see we got the hard edges as well as a curved surface there and now you can see the little bit of different design there and that's look decent so you can see the two kind of design we have created with the same method one is a hard little bit one is a soft little bit so thank you for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye so in the next video take care